Hey guys, and welcome to the first video in our C Sharp tutorial series. Now this tutorial series will kind of be running alongside our Unity tutorial series. Um, the, the Unity tutorial series will assume that you've learned a bunch of, of this stuff that I'm going to teach you in this series. So if you're a little bit more advanced, you can start on the Unity tutorials, which I'll hopefully be running and uploading like a Unity tutorial series and a C Sharp tutorial like one of each a week maybe or something along those lines so there'll be a little bit more advanced stuff out there and a little bit more be beginner stuff and if you want to jump across to the unity stuff as well that's that's not a problem at all um even if you're still learning because once you've got through a few of these c sharp uh tutorials you you'll probably be able to understand what's happening in the code um uh, to a very basic degree and you know if you want if you want to have a, a look at those before you're fully um capable of of c sharp that's not a problem at all now the ide that we'll be using for uh, our c sharp development is mono develop and the reason we're using mono develop is simply that unity um has bundled with it mono develop and um these they kind of coexist <laughs> in a sense um and we can do all kinds of cool cool stuff between the two. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to go and download Unity or Mono Develop. You can figure that out yourself. Uh, it's pretty easy. Go to their website. If, if you, once you download Unity, you'll get Mono Develop as well. And you can just open it separate. We don't open it with Unity when we're doing these tutorials. Uh, just open uh, Mono Develop by itself. The first time you open Mono Develop, you're going to get something that looks a little bit like this. I'm not sure if it'll look exactly the same. Mine might be a little bit different. And now. Um, what we're going to do in this first series is just write, or, or not even write any code, but just build our first uh, first project. And the basic project that everyone learns first in C Sharp is the Hello World bit of code. Uh, now you don't need to understand this. We just this is just so you can get an idea of how Mono Develop works and how you can build stuff with C Sharp. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into app. Uh, create a new and we're going to create a new solution. Now a solution um, is essentially just a container that has stores all the information for your say all your game scripts and, and whatnot um, and it's just a just stores them all together for you uh, pretty much uh, and organizes everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on in my region panda in my tutorials. And we'll name this solution tutorial series. Beautiful. And it'll create a directory for the solution for us. And what we're going to create is a C sharp console project. So uh, this is just running a console. It has no windows, no, no forms, uh, nothing like that. This is purely to command prompt, essentially. If you've ever been into command prompt, look, it's DOS. Uh, not DOS, but DOS. All right, so we're just going to create an empty project and uh, Mono Develop, in all its wisdom, knowing that you're just starting out, builds you the very basic project that we were just talking about, the the Hello World, um, the Hello World app. We're going to call it an application. Now, uh, yours might look a little bit different than that. I have a strange feeling that it'll look like this, something along these lines. Might not have the toolbars across to the side but it'll look like uh, this. Now this is the, if, if you've come from developing uh, in, um, in maybe Visual Studios or something like that, and you don't like how the syntax is highlighted, uh, the first thing we'll do is um, show you how to change that. So if we go into Tools and Options, uh, we can come down to our syntax highlighting, and if you like how the Visual, Visual Studios look, uh, you can change across to how Visual Studio looks. Um, this is generally what I use, but I like to change if I've been coding all day or something like that and my eyes are a little bit tired. Um, I don't mind coming down and what are we? Oops. changing it to something like something dark um, just because when you're staring at code and whatnot all day, uh, it could be a little bit straining on the eyes. Um, now you can go online and you can find like a whole, whole bunch of different... Um, these these kind of syntax highlightings or you can just create your own and find something you like but we'll use the default one just so everyone can follow along quite simply now on the left we have our solution view 
Uh, and this just shows us everything in our project so far. And we have our assembly info, which I can open here, which just is a little, you can write in a little bit about your, what you're creating. You can have a description and your company and all that kind of stuff. Um, and these little plus symbols, you can see will open stuff up, but they're just, um, as you see, they're just comments. Um, no actual script. And our main, main.cs. Now CS stands for C sharp. So our, it's a C sharp script. Um, and in this script, we've got a few basic lines of code. We don't need to worry too much about what it's saying right now, but essentially all this is saying is write a line to the console call that's, uh, that says, hello world, write this line, hello world. Um, don't stress too much about this using system and namespace and class. We'll get to that in our next tutorial series. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this because I know it works because it was written for us. Trust me, it works. So we're going to build it and just go build all. And it's come up the top here, build successful. Um, and now we can run it and we can start without debugging. And oh, it's on my dual monitor. As you can see, it comes up, hello world. And press the key to continue, which would just close it down. So we successfully built this little application that says hello world to a console screen. So we can see that that's worked if we just go across into our uh, folder that we created, our tutorial series. Inside our tutorial series, we have uh, this bin folder. And in here, in our debug, is actually where our application has gone, our tutorial series.exe. And if you double click on this and open, mine went on the other screen, um, it'll just flash up with the console and then quickly disappear. And the reason for that is we haven't put any code in to tell it to stop when the uh, after writing the line so it just thinks the app is done and just closes down so it doesn't stay open like it did when we went without run and start without debugging where we got that at the end um so that's yeah control f5 by the way it'll do that run without debugging um later on we will be doing running with debugging um or debugging essentially, and we'll be using breakpoints um, to step in and out of our solutions, but that's for a later tutorial. Right now, all we wanted to be able to do was um, figure out how to create a solution and um, create um, our application. Now, inside our solution, we can obviously create new files and we can say, all right, I want an empty c -sharp file. And we can just name that a test. I'm not gonna actually use it. And it's now part of our solution. Now, um, whoops, I clicked on the wrong things. Um, we can have inside a solution as many C sharp files as we want. You know, we can go absolutely crazy. Um, and generally we have our own file for our own little bits and pieces of the game. So say we're creating a, a player, um, we'll have an own script for you know, how the input buttons work, our own script for how the damage works because we have classes uh, independently for each of them. But of course you could write all of that. You could write your whole game in one giant C-sharp script, but it would be super messy, super hard to read and really dumb. So if we have our scripts all just individual and each named to what, what they are, um, what they contain, it just makes it a lot easier. But for our project that we'll be doing right now, um, we're just going to delete this completely. Um, we're just going to be using one, one C sharp script, probably for the first five, six, seven tutorials, maybe less than that actually. But yeah, that's the basic for this first tutorial. Obviously, all the basic stuff applies that um, applies in pretty much every bit of Windows software, like uh, cutting and pasting is you know your Control X, Control Z, Control V. Um, that's all the same, control S to save our solution, all that kind of stuff that's the same as pretty much anything in Windows. So yeah, that's our first uh, introductory to Mono Develop and C Sharp. Uh, in our next video, we're going to look at uh, the basic variables we use in C Sharp uh, and how to implement them. And then we're going to just keep building on, uh, on that and we're going to keep using our console app and we'll probably build a couple little games inside our console. So we'll probably build a guess the number game into blackjack probably those would be the first two games we'll create in the console and if you're doing the unity tutorials i think that the first thing i'll probably do is a little 2d side scroller um, so yeah thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next video